What's happening? So, I've been extremely curious lately. Um, the other day I got caught watching like 30 minutes worth of YouTube videos of how they recycle cardboard and shit because <laughs> I work with cardboard and I like to know how we get all these fucking boxes. Back to back cardboard gotta run out right. So, I've been curious lately. So I've been asking a lot of questions and I've been trying to find the answer to all these questions. So last week on Facebook, I asked a question. I said, and if you're religious, if you're a religious person, if you if you believe in God, if you love God, or you're a God-fearing person, you should probably stop this video right now because it might be a little triggering. But last week on Facebook, I asked, I said, if Adam and Eve were the first two people that God created, when did incest become cool? Now, stop and think about it before you start cussing me out and thinking that I'm tripping. And when I when I first asked the question, people on Facebook, um were commenting like oh you must want to you must want to fuck your cousin or or why is this even a question well if you stop and think about it right every billion of us <laughs> came from those two people that said adam and eve in the beginning there was adam and eve and now it's billions of us every last one of us had to come from those two people so that means that adam and eve had to have kids and then adam's adam and eve's kids had to have kids right if i'm wrong Stop the video, comment, tell me I'm tripping right now. All right. Shout out to my guy Rob and shout out to creationmoments.com. I found the answer. Um, if you guys would like the answer, the title of this is Did Adam and Eve's Children Practice Incest? The Genesis account of creation provides mankind with just the bare facts we need to know about our origin. Further facts are revealed progressively throughout Scripture. The creation account then concludes with. Then God saw everything that he had made, and indeed it was very good. That's Genesis 1, 3, 1. Since Eve was made from one of Adam's ribs, Genesis 2, 21 through 22, she would have been a clone of Adam. And had there been any genetic mutation in Adam, this would have been reproduced in Eve and expressed in their offspring. However, we may reasonably conclude that there were no mutations and the very first commandment given to them was to be fruitful and multiply. That's Genesis 1, 28. However, the business at the tree of the knowledge of good and evil took place long before there were any children. The account then continues where God confronted the guilty pair at the tree, but they did not confess their guilt or plead for forgiveness. That's Genesis 3, 1 through 13. God then cursed the serpent, imposed reproductive difficulties upon Eve, and cursed the grounds for Adam's sake. Genesis 3.17 From that moment, everything that Adam and mankind, that includes every billion of us, <laughs> uh, ate had grown in the cursed ground. That means everything we eat now, shout out to the vegans out there, everything you eat now is cursed. God cursed it a long time ago, so it ain't nothing you can do about eating fucked up. Cell by living cell, Adam began to very slowly change from his initial state of eternal perfection to mortal imperfection. That means in the beginning, Adam was immortally perfect until they started eating from the tree once they ate from the tree god made the ground um he done poison the ground so everything they ate from the ground started turning um adam into a mortal so tell by living cell adam began to very slowly change from his initial state of eternal perfection to mortal imperfection and he finally died at the age of 930 years old that means if eve had never ate that fucking apple we wouldn't be dying at 80, we'd be living to be a fucking thousand or some shit like that. That's in Genesis 5.5. 5. Nevertheless, Adam and Eve's immediate offspring would have been very close to physical perfection while brother-sister marriages were the only unions possible. Further, according to the genealogies given in scripture, pre-flood longevity was about the same as that for Adam, so families were very large compared to those of today. That means everybody lived to be 900 years old. Brother-sister unions were not only unavoidable, but they undoubtedly became traditional and expected. That means I'm right. Well, I wasn't right. I was just not wrong to ask that question. <laughs> Following the Genesis flood, other sources of genetic defects such as harmful radiation were also imposed upon mankind. Finally, almost 900 years after the flood, God gave Moses a list of near relatives, including brothers and sisters, who were forbidden to marry. That's in Leviticus chapter 18. The leaders of many ancient nations had always married their eldest sisters as first wives to ensure the kingdom stayed in their family. 
For example, Pharaoh Akhenaton reigned 1379 to 1362 BC, had been the product of such a union, and from his preserved image, he is recognized as having been genetically deformed. Over 3,000 years later, Charles Darwin married his first cousin and had 10 children, three of whom suffered very early death, strongly suggestive of expressed defective genes. That's because they was fucking each other. And we had been fucking each other all the way up until 1379, I guess that's what it says, 1362 BC. <clears throat> Today, we all carry those mutated genes. And when two people marry who, by chance, have the same defective gene, that gene will be expressed in their offspring. The chances are increased enormously when the married couple are closely related, especially when brother and sister. So basically what I'm getting from that is that kind of explains why two people who are healthy or kind of perfect in health can have a baby and that baby come out with Down syndrome or the baby come out with hearing loss or anything like that and the baby come out fucked up and you don't know why the baby fucked up because you and the other parent are damn near perfect. It's because at one point in time, your family was fucking each other. All right. Um, that's what I got from that. Um, I've, I've just been curious. I'm going to continue to be curious. I'm going to continue asking questions to make people uncomfortable. I'm going to continue trying to find the answers and I'm going to continue posting these videos. And I don't care what you think because it's me and this is my platform. And you either like it or you love it. Uh, tell me what you think, man. Uh, peace.